200 Fort Wayne Community Schools custodians are out of jobs tonight. The school board decided to outsource services, saving $4.4 million. Unfortunately, more cuts are on the way, too. Chris Hopper is Fort Wayne's only TV reporter dedicated to education news. And Chris, what are you being told tonight about what we can expect? Heather, the state cut its public education budget $300 million this year. Superintendent Dr. Wendy Robinson says in January of next year, we can expect another $300 million in cuts, and it doesn't stop there. If you take this contract, all I can say is good luck with that because you really don't know what you're going to be getting. Over 200 custodians are the latest casualties in budget cuts. After the school board's 6-1 to one vote, the group left defeated and union president Michelle Tribole was in disbelief. She hunched over in her chair and all the emotions came pouring out. I want to thank you. Yeah, I haven't slept in two weeks, so I want to thank you. Kevin Brown, the only board member to vote against the outsourcing, thanked the custodians for their loyalty to the district. Board member Pamela Martin-Diaz reminded everyone of the harsh reality. Cutting our budget is not an option. It's not a choice. It's something that we absolutely have to do. FWCS had to reduce this year's budget by $15 million. Teachers, custodians, and schools made up the list of cuts. Superintendent Dr. Wendy Robinson is bracing everyone for another $300 million in cuts statewide coming in January. And there could be a lot more after that. That old saying, you can't bleed blood out of a turnip, we're getting to that point. With tears in her eyes, Robinson says you can't blame the state government because education is 50% of its budget and it can't print money. Who knows what will be cut next, but one thing's for sure, it won't be easy. Well, I can't tell you today what I'm going to do. I know what I can't do. I can't make everybody happy. The 200-plus FWCS custodians will get to interview for a position with the outsourcing company Sodexo. Their wages and benefits, though, will be greatly reduced. All right, Chris.